our summer skin intervention series as the FDA plans to update its regulations on sunscreen this fall. According to some surveys, this wasn't surprising to me, nearly half of us still do not understand what SPF really means. So we are going to dispel three of the biggest myths about sunscreen this morning. Board certified dermatologist Whitney Bowe is here with us now. Good morning to you, Good morning. friend. All right, guys, you ready to be put to work? You've got your paddles. Yeah. Your true, true right. false paddles. Bring them up. We are going to do a test. True or false? Here we go. First one. SPF offers twice as much protection as SPF 50. What do you think? SPF 100? Uh, 100 offers, offers twice, twice as, as much protection as SPF 50. Okay, mostly false. What do you say? So A plus, guys, right. very good. So it is false. So SPF stands for sun protection factor and has to do with how long your skin can be exposed to the sun before it burns. Now in a laboratory setting, SPF 100 blocks 99% of UVB rays mm. and SPF 50 blocks 98% of UVB rays. So it seems, based on those numbers, based on that curve over there, it seems like there's barely a difference, right? But in real life, it can make a difference. So take a look at my arm. So here, I applied sunscreen the way that it's applied in those studies, a nice thick coat. Mm -hmm. But this is how, to, how most people apply their sunscreen over here. So in real life, those higher SPFs, they give you a little bit of a buffer. They mm. give you room for error. So you say opt for the higher ones. I think error on the side. If you're going to okay. rub in your sunscreen the way most people do, yes. Okay, so we're going to talk about chemical versus mineral sunscreens with this one. You guys ready for another one? Here we go. Yeah. True or false? True or false? Organic sunscreens are more gentle for sensitive skin. I've got my poker face, mm, not giving anything away. Organic sunscreens are more gentle. Like 50-50 okay, Yeah, I would here. say 50-50. What do you say, doctor? So the answer here is false. So dermatologists actually recommend oh. mineral or inorganic sunscreen for very sensitive skin. But most people don't even know what the word organic right. means, right? So let's take a look at this. So our physical or mineral sunscreens, these are the inorganic ones, they contain zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Now these act basically like a shield. Mm. They reflect or scatter UV rays. These are the ones that can be really difficult to rub in, guys. These mm -hmm. are the ones that can leave you with that pasty white complexion, but they're super gentle even for sensitive skin. Now the chemical sunscreens or organic sunscreens, so these act more like a sponge. So they absorb UV rays and then they chemically transform those rays into heat. These are really easy to rub in, right? But they can be a little irritating if your skin is really sensitive. All right, we're going to do one more quickly here. Last question, guys. A lot of people have concerns about this one. True or false? Chemical sunscreens can be absorbed through the skin and enter the bloodstream. Chemical sunscreens can be absorbed under the bone screen. Okay, what do you say? These guys are smart over here. So the answer is true. But let me give you guys a bit of context, okay? So there's this term that's used by the FDA, G-R-A-S-E. It stands for generally recognized as safe and effective. Now the mineral sunscreens over there, those are considered G-R-A-S-E because they barely get absorbed. But the chemicals do get absorbed, so they're under investigation by the FDA. But we still think that they're not unsafe. So you should still feel comfortable using your chemical sunscreens. Perfect time of year to be talking about this. You're going to be answering questions on our Facebook page. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.